So seeing how the PlayStation is turning 28 this year, I thought it was a good idea to take a little bit of a look back at the PlayStation history. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Nineteen eighty eight, Sony computer engineer turned CEO and chairman Ken Kutaragi had a spark in his head about the future and success of video games whilst watching his daughter play on the NEX in the late eighties. Kutaragi and Nintendo would collaborate to create a sound chip for the Super Nintendo, unknown to the higher ups at Sony, a decision that would later to go on and infuriate Sony execs. Kutaraki's job was only saved by the CEO then of Sony, Noria Orga, who allowed Ken to finish work on the highly regarded SPC 700 sound chip that would later go on and be in the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The successful partnership led to another collaboration between Sony and Nintendo, this time on a disc-based add-on for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. However, Ken Kutaragi wasn't getting enough support from Sony higher-ups, as they saw video games was just a fad and not worth pursuing. But the Super Nintendo Entertainment system CD-ROM add-on went ahead anyway. However, with Sony having full rights to all the CD technology, the making and printing and distributing of the CDs, that cut Nintendo out of a large profit margin, which made Nintendo themselves very nervous. So, on the forefront, Nintendo telling Sony everything's great, However, behind the scenes, they went to Philips and asked them if they could work with Nintendo on something new. 1991. At the Consumer Electronics Show of 1991, Ken Kutaragi and Sony announced a partnership with Nintendo to create a CD analog for the Super Famicom, dubbed the PlayStation. Then, the very next day, Nintendo would later backstab Sony and announced their partnership between themselves and Philips, this time leaving Sony out. This pissed Sony executives off a lot. This led to Kutaraki saying to Noria Orga, we'll make a video game console, leading to Noria Orga, who was the dead set against him making video game systems at the time. Feeling Nintendo's betrayal, slammed his fists on the table and saying the words just do it leading to the creation of the playstation 1993 sony computer entertainment was formed and founded on november 16 1993 and was a joint venture between sony corporation and sony music japan and sure sony had the hardware now but they had no software and no game, so they recruited game developers to make games for the original PlayStation. 1994-1995 The original PlayStation was launched 3rd of December 1994 for Japan and September 9th 1995 for North America and Europe and will be the first video game console to ship more than 100 million units. The PlayStation would go on to feature a dual-speed CD-ROM drive, a one-core CPU that had 2 megabytes of RAM along with 1 megabyte of video RAM, with graphics that could deliver up to 360,000 polygons per second. There is a total of 4,105 games released for the PlayStation. 2000 On March 4th, 2000, the PlayStation 2 was released in Japan. 
then later released in North America and Europe in October and November of 2000. In the same year of the PlayStation 2's release, Sony released the PS1 in July of 2000. The PS1 is a considerably smaller version of the PlayStation that released five to six years prior. The PlayStation 2, however, boasts a whopping 128-bit R5900 based emotion engine, custom designed by Sony and Toshiba themselves, a 32 megabyte RD RAM system RAM, a 4 megabyte RD RAM video, an SPU1, an SPU2, a 2 megabyte 48 kilohertz channeled graphic synth synthesizer running at 147 megahertz. The media at the time is CD and DVD ROMs, so bigger the storage for games. The PlayStation 2 has online capabilities and outputs at 240 slash 480p resolution. There are a total of 4,380 games released for the PlayStation 2 from March 2000 to 14th of November 2013. 2004, Sony releases the PlayStation Portable PSP on December 12, 2004 in Japan. Also in 2004, after the PlayStation 2's release, Sony releases the PlayStation 2 Slim. The PlayStation 2 Slim is a version, a much smaller, thinner and much quieter version of the PlayStation 2 Fat, but included an Ethernet port, which the PlayStation 2 Fat didn't. 2005 PSP is released in North America March 2005 and power regions on September 2005 and it's the first handheld instalment in the line of PlayStation consoles. The PSP includes a 20-333 MHz MIPS, an R4000 CPU, a 32-64 MB system RAM, and a 2 MB of video RAM. The display includes a 480 by 272 pixels with 2-bit color, 30.17 widescreen LCD, custom rendering engine plus surface engine, Wi-Fi connectivity and the PSP has a total of 1913 games. 2006 Sony releases the PlayStation 3 in November of 2006 for Japan and North America, then later on in Europe in 2007. The PS3 primarily competes with Microsoft's Xbox 360, which came out in 2005, and Nintendo's Wii, which came in 2006. The seventh generation of video game consoles are ahead. The PS3 packed in one VMX vector unit per core, a 512KB L2 cache, 7 SPE at 3.2GHz, 7 128SMID GPRs, 7 256KB of SRAM for SPE. 1 PPE, 256 megabytes of GDDR3 video and system RAM, 550 megahertz NVIDIA SCEI RSX reality synthesizer, and the PlayStation outputted at 720 180p video. 5.5 Dolby Digital Sound online capabilities and a 12 gigabyte hard drive, but later on can be upgraded.
2013, Sony releases the PlayStation 4 on November 15th and November 29th in Europe, South America and Australia. Then, four months later, Japan receives the PlayStation 4 in February 2014. The PS4 includes a single chip custom processor, an x86-64 AMD Jaguar 8 core CPU, and a 1.84 teraflops AMD Radeon based graphics engine, GDDR5 8GB memory, 500 gigabytes of memory, uh, one terabyte of HDD, and it outputs 1080p by 1440p resolution. 2020. Sony releases the PlayStation 5 in Australia, Japan, New Zealand, North America and South Korea on November 12, 2020, then followed by a worldwide release one week later. The PS5 has an 8 Gen 2 cores, 3.5 GHz with SMT CPU and AMD RDNA 2 GPU. 36 CUs at 2.23 GHz GPU, a 16 GB DDR6 RAM, a 825 GB PCI Gen 4, NVMe SSD, and a 4K and 8K resolution output. Also includes Tempest 3D audio tech.